Chevron Incorporated is a company leading the way in manufacturing quality, safe, and durable prisoner transport van and truck conversions. Mavron is located in Warsaw, Indiana and has provided transport equipment to departments and communities just like yours since 1973. Outstanding engineering principles and innovative designs have made Mavron the most respected name in the industry. A name you can trust for affordable, durable and safe products. We offer a variety of models because we know that no two customers are exactly alike. This video is designed to help you with the installation of your new bolt together using only common hand tools. If you need more information, refer back to your written manual. Let's begin with preparing the van. To start, you'll need to unhook the battery and remove both the passenger and driver's seat. Also, remove any factory headliner or trim that may be in the way when installing the insert in the rear of the van. Next, install any rear lighting like a load light or a traffic director prior to installing the insert. Run the wires to the front of the vehicle. Place wire loom or rubber hose around any wiring in the upper corners of the van. You'll need to open the rear van doors to the maximum by unhooking the stops. Install the Dayton blower at the rear of the van on the driver's side near the wheel well. Cut a 3-inch diameter hole through the floor and install the 3-inch pipe set with the unit. The blower is set over the hole and screwed to the floor. And here's an important note. If the vehicle has factory rear heat and air conditioning, install the Dayton blower on the passenger side. Then, loom 14-gauge yellow wire and run along driver's side ceiling to front. Here are the directions if your van came with rear heat and air conditioning from the manufacturer. For Ford factory heat and air conditioning hookup, you'll need to remove the factory end caps and install the ones provided with the bolt together. Then connect the end caps to the provided Ys. For GMC and Chevy factory heat and air conditioning hookup, it's important to turn on rear heat to raise the air diverter flap. The battery will need to be reconnected for this procedure. Remove the end caps. Unplug flap actuator power connection behind the unit and against van wall. It's tight. This will leave the flap up permanently and divert all air to the other side. There are two different end caps supplied with the bolt together. One end cap blocks the air and the other has two ports. Be sure to install the caps correctly. The battery should be disconnected again at this point. When you are installing a unit with auxiliary aftermarket heat and air, here's what you need to know. In preparing to install the heat and cool unit, try to place the 3 inch plastic grommet behind the driver's side door post on the van floor. Place the heat and cool unit either between the fender well and gas fill or on top of the fender well. Attach the unit to the floor if it is in between the fender well and gas fill or to the sidewall if the unit is on top of the fender well. Check under the van to be sure the location for the heat and air unit will be acceptable. Now it's time to route the hoses. Lay the two 5 8 inch heater hose and the number 6 and number 10 AC hoses on the floor along the driver's side of the van. Leave enough hose so that it will go up through the 3 inch grommet and make a nice large loop at the heat and cool unit for future connection. Also, leave enough up front in the engine compartment for the connection there. We like to tape the hoses all together about every two feet. Locate the engine manifold and slip the fiberglass sleeve over the hoses where the manifold is. Use two of the stainless steel wire ties to hold the sleeve in place. We tape over these ties to prevent them from scratching the front of the van while they are being fed down through the engine compartment. When routing your hoses, be sure to keep them as far away from the manifold and moving parts as possible. Use the large C-clamps and extra wire ties to secure the hoses in place. Stainless steel ties should be used around the manifold area. Once you have run your hoses and they are fastened in place, go to the front of the van and locate the heater hoses to determine which one you want for a feed line. Place a piece of tape on both ends of that hose. This is important for the installation of the solenoid valve. Run the hoses up into the van through the 3-inch grommet. 
Make your hose connections to the rear unit, two hoses for the air conditioner and two for the heater. About two feet from the unit, install the solenoid valve on the incoming hot water line. Make sure arrow is in direction of the water flow. Hook up your drain tubes to the unit using the half-inch braided white hose and tees. Run the open end down through the 3-inch grommet or drill a hole and use the provided grommet to allow it to drain onto the ground. The wiring harness is supplied for you so it should be run next. The floor console has been pre-wired for the auxiliary heat cool unit. You should hook up the green and brown wires to the thermostat on the rear AC unit. It makes no difference which terminal. Connect the yellow, red, orange to yellow, red, orange at the rear unit. Please refer to the included wiring diagram as wiring colors may change. Attach the 14 gauge white wire to the OEM AC relay behind the dash for GM and Dodge vans or out under the hood to the low pressure switch in a Ford van. GM and Dodge models require you to remove the plastic trim around the instrument panel so you can install the relay. Ford does not. See the included wiring diagram on how to hook up relay. Hook up your 2.5 inch flexible duct hose to the rear unit using the wire ties to secure them in place. Then hook up your hoses out under the hood making sure that the heater hose with the tape on it goes to the feed hose on the engine so that the hot water can get back to the unit. A certified HVAC installer should make the underhood connections and charge the unit with Freon. Please be sure to have the installer place the service stickers under the hood. With these